Its proximity to Iran has given the western city of Herat a progressive feeling compared to other Afghan cities. Here you'll see tree-lined roads, restored monuments and a bustling economy that, like the rest of the country, relies heavily on the car. But what you won't see often anywhere in Afghanistan is a woman driving. There are only 80 registered female drivers in Herat, but that represents a huge breakthrough in a country where women are often criticized for driving. Families are reluctant to let their daughters and wives learn to drive at Afghanistan's heavily attended traffic departments alongside men. Here in Herat, a female-only driving school has been offering Afghan women the chance to learn to drive in a safe environment. Many drivers in Afghanistan simply buy their papers illegally, but these driving graduates are fully qualified before they head off on the road. While conservative Afghans may disapprove of female drivers, as they say it takes them away from the home, these women say it helps them care for their families better, especially in a country with many widows or families where men need to travel far away to find work. <laughs> Don't expect to see Afghanistan's highways thronged with female drivers anytime soon. But once they pass their tests, these ladies will hopefully act as role models to a new generation of female motorists. This is Ruth Owen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.